everybody this is Kriti and it is October the 24th and tomorrow is the 25th and guess what day that is that is my surgery my bariatric sleeve surgery okay so let me just take some time to tell you how anxious I am I am so anxious I am scared kind of scared. I'm nervous. I don't know what is going to happen. You know, I'm just worried. But then I'm also happy that I've gotten this point. It has been such a long journey, you guys. It has been such a long journey. I mean, oh my God. I mean, I started out um, in January and I had to lose this weight. And it's been a rough journey. I mean, and you just, words cannot describe. I'm just excited. So, I'm, um, one of the things that I am not looking forward to, and that's getting up early in the morning, because the surgery is, is at 5.45 a.m. They must have made me the very first person. Why do I have to get up at 5.45? Really, I'm not even a morning person. This is awful. And then I haven't packed. I haven't done anything. I'm just tired. I mean, I'm, I'm exhausted. Oh, my God. It's just, it's just words cannot describe how I got it. Okay. This is the thing. I've survived that week-long liquid diet that week-long liquid diet of chicken broth protein drinks and popsicles and jello okay now i know after you have the surgery you're still on the liquid diet because you have to be on it for six weeks six, six to eight weeks i believe but that's okay because guess what? I don't have the cravings. I don't mind the liquid diet if I don't have the cravings. The whole week I've had cravings. I mean, I'm watching these Applebee's and you know how I feel about Texas Roll House. And I'm looking at Texas Roll House commercials. And then the steak and then Outback has this new steak with this onion ring and it's stacked up and well, okay i'm getting off i'm i'm getting off point off subject okay let me get back on um so anyway i've survived that i'm very happy i pat myself on the shoulder i'm very happy i deserve a cookie so i went the whole year and i've survived i've made it through it's been a lot of obstacles but it's here. I want to be able to walk and run. And I want to be able to play with my little boy. Um, and without being tired, walk up the stairs without being holding on to the banister. I want to be able to walk without a pain in my ankles, swollen. I want to, I don't want to wear orthopedic shoes anymore. Um, I want to be able to stop wearing a size 24, 26. I want to be able to to um, actually walk into a regular store that sells a size and maybe be a size 12. 12. I'm good if I'm a 12 because I can go to a regular store. I don't always have to go to the same girl, fat girl stores. I call them. I've been there all my life. Avenue, Lane Bryant, Catherine's. Ashley Stewart used to be 16 plus I forget them fashion book I don't, I've named a lot of them but I've been to them all I don't want to go to a chubby girl store anymore I want to be able to go to a regular store I want to be able to go swimming and you know with my sons I want to be able to be healthy and not be scared that I may be borderline diabetic like I am now. I just want to be healthy and happy, you know. And food have been my best friend, my husband, my love, my everything. 
I would come home and as long as I have a full plate of food and that television, I'm good. I don't want to be that way anymore. I have skipped out on a lot of my life, not going out, not being social. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to live life. You only have one life. And I want to live that. So whatever happens tomorrow, I'm being trying to be positive and happy. But I do know there's risk. I just want to let you know that I'm going to do this. And I'm ready. So it's about almost 11 o'clock. And I can't eat anything after 11. Can't, well, it's not like I want to eat anything after 11 because I'm tired of chicken broth. So, um, and I am prepared. I have my dry mouth spray. I bought that dry mouth spray. Um, they gave me two bars of this soap, special soap that you have to scrub down with. Um, that will help you to make sure that you're um, clean of germs on your skin. So I have to use that in the morning as well. You have to use it the night before and in the morning. And um, this special, gar you have to gargle with this special mouthwash. So I'm going to go and do that before I go to bed. Um, what else? I think that is it. I touched on everything pretty much. But um, it's just... Day number seven, and I made it through this liquid fast, and I'm just very happy to finally have this. It's like going almost to Cedar Point. Not really. I'm just giving an example. Um, and then I um, just wanted to thank you for watching, and I'm going to have my son tomorrow after I get out of the surgery to take a picture of me and also to um, run a little video of me just so you can see how I'm coping and I will make a video for then too and um, I'll make a video maybe an hour before I actually have the surgery so I just want to thank you and God bless and pray for me bye